Hey guys, it's project pan update time. I've used two of the products, so I think I'm only down to like four, which is just so exciting. I always love using products in my project pan. I mean, of course, these aren't the only makeup products I use. I switch between other makeup products all the time, but I really try to focus on these because, you know, I've either had them for too long or I just need to like use them up basically. Um, all these products I really love that are in my project pan. Some of them I might repurchase, some of them I might not. But it's just a conscious, conscious effort just to be like, okay, I've had this for a really long time. I just really need to use it up. And I really need to allow myself to see how long it takes to actually use some of these products up. Because then I'm like, oh wow, it takes, it takes a while to use this up. So I don't just want to like buy all this stuff and never use it basically. <laughs> Especially when you spend your money on stuff. So... Yeah, it's really exciting. I'm definitely using up more things. Um, the lighting, of course, it's natural lighting. You guys know I use natural light, so I'm really sorry. I think it like kind of is shifting in and out. I, ap I apologize about that. I'm in front of a window in my daughter's room, and so the you know the sun keeps shifting. So I hope it's not too distracting. Um, I'll start with the two things that I used up, and I'm so excited. So these two foundations, my Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation and my Lancome Nude Miracle. I use them up like the same time. I was using them together, mixing them together. One of them is a long, longer lasting foundation than the other one. They are both absolutely incredible. I loved both of these, like absolutely just loved them. Um, this one was just great. I probably won't repurchase it just for the fact that it doesn't have a pump. I have to constantly do that and that kind of drives me nuts. If it had a pump, it would be like perfect because it's a drugstore foundation. I believe it's like six or seven dollars. It's incredible. I just wish that they would make it with a pump because it drives me crazy getting my fingers all dirty. But if they ever do come out with this with a pump, I'll repurchase it in a second because it's such a great, long-lasting drugstore foundation. I really, really love it. And in the future, I probably will repurchase it again just because I, I really do love this foundation. The Lancome Nude Miracle is absolutely fantastic. It's like a serum-based foundation. It was so good. I absolutely loved it. I don't think I'll repurchase it right now just because I do have the MAC Waterweight Foundation and the formulas are very, very similar. And this one's just a tad dark and so I have to always use it with a lighter foundation whereas the MAC Waterweight is like my perfect color. It's light enough and it looks really good with my skin tone. Um, but this one is just fantastic, so it's definitely good. I really miss those though because they're just great. But I do have other ones very similar that I'm just using right now. But in the future, I might have to get those again because I really did love those so much. And I'm so happy that I went through two foundations. That's so awesome. So the MAC Prep and Prime Vibrancy Eye Primer. I use this kind of for an under eye primer on days where my under eyes kind of feel a little bit more dry. I just kind of put it on before my makeup and stuff like that. Um, I mean, it's getting there. It's just hard to tell with these because, you know, they're black and you don't know where the lines are. <laughs> um, but yeah, this has been discontinued, so I won't get this one again. I think I'm going to get the one from Clinique. They have like a correcting kind of thing for under your eyes, and I think it's kind of like a moisturizing kind of under eye primer thing. I think I'll go with that when this is gone. But yeah, I'm working away at that. Can't tell you how close I am. I'm hoping I'm getting closer because I've been really, really consciously trying to use this a ton. I've had this for over a year, so it lasts a really long time. <laughs> so yeah, using that. My It Cosmetics, um, this is the Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. So I've been really consciously using this. Um, yeah, it's still in there. There's quite a bit, you can see it underneath. Um, it's definitely getting used though. I've been using this a lot. It's not my favorite powder in the world. I've said that before. I wouldn't repurchase it. I bought this when Ulta had their 21 day of beauty sale and it was like half off. I think I only paid like $12 or something. So it wasn't a big deal. So I'm just using it up because it's a good powder. It's just not my favorite powder in the world. It has a lot of kick up to it and I kind of inhale it a lot when I put it on and it kind of makes me cough. <laughs> so I don't love it, but I do, um, I think it's a great powder so yeah I'll continue to use it and stuff like that I've been working at that so it's getting worked on little by little translucent powders powders bronzers and blushes 
are very, very hard to use because you don't need a ton of those things. And so, you know, they take a while. <laughs> it's a little bit frustrating. They take a while. Um, so this is the bronzer I've been using. I've just been really, really trying to focus on it. This is the Smashbox Sunkissed Matte Bronzer. Um, I feel like every single time I show this, a little bit more pan is showing. So it's definitely getting there. Um, I have it on today. I love this bronzer. It is so beautiful. It's such a fun one to use because it's just so pretty. It's very finely milled. It's perfect for my skin tone. Really, really enjoy this bronzer and I really enjoy using it because I just hadn't touched it for like over a year. And I'd have that I'd had this one for like three years and I'm like I just really need to use it up just because I've had it for so long it's a great bronzer I don't think I'll repurchase it though I have so many bronzers in my collection I love bronzers um, you know and those are just I gravitate toward bronzers I really love them and so I think for now I'm gonna pass on this one I do have a quite a few others that I'm you know using right now so I'm going to try to use this one up, but I don't think I'll ever purchase it, even though it's absolutely amazing and I really love it. And I highly recommend it for fair skin. It's so pretty. Um, and then my last product is another bronzer duo. This is my NARS Olympia duo. I'm just focusing on the brown, brown kind of um, bronzer shade, not this white part. Um, it's definitely getting more. I haven't really touched this a lot. I've really just been focusing on my Smashbox one, but this is a repurchase for me. I have to have this in my collection. It's so perfect. It's like kind of a cooler, kind of more rosier bronzer. It is so beautiful for fair skin. I love this. Like there's nothing like this. And I love traveling with it because you can also use it as an eyeshadow kind of duo. I just think it's beautiful and this is something that I will definitely repurchase just because it's so unique and I love it so much. So yeah, love that. And I actually have my nails painted. Don't look too close because <laughs> they're probably chipping. I never <laughs> paint my nails. I haven't had my nails painted for probably like five months. This is like the first time in a really long time. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> so I thought I'd just mention that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my project pan. I'm definitely working on things. I'm definitely using things up. I'm getting there in a few projects, products, which is really exciting. Those foundations, like that's awesome. So it's really cool to be down to four items. I'm gonna work really hard. Hopefully those four are gonna be kind of hard to use though because you know, you don't use a lot of them. So yeah, we'll see. I might just have to like start a new project and put those four in there and just like roll them over. I'm not sure. I'll just kind of see what my progress is over the next month and see what I want to do. But I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are doing awesome and I'll see you soon. Bye.